the increase in CO2, a greenhouse gas, contributes to climate change as well as ocean acidification, affecting marine life. Most of the atmospheric CO2 is absorbed and fixed in forests and shallow waters of the oceans. It is believed that the increase in CO2 in the ocean has an impact on the marine ecosystem, including a decrease in fishery resources. Reducing CO2 in the ocean will be a key step towards solving various global environmental problems. NTT Space Environment and Energy Laboratories is focusing its attention not only on carbon stored on the seafloor as a persistent substance in sediment that can capture CO2 dissolved in the ocean, but also on carbon absorbed and fixed by algae in shallow waters and carbon fixed in fish and shellfish. And is developing a technology to increase the amount of fixed carbon. This technology uses algae, fish, and shellfish that are all genome edited to increase the amount of carbon they can fix to cause a synergistic increase in the amount of carbon fixation occurring through the food chain that connects them. We use land-based aquaculture platforms to prevent genome-edited individuals from spreading, thus eliminating any impact on other marine organisms. Regarding the food chain, matching algae as food with fish and shellfish as eaters is important. We are attempting to maximize the amount of carbon fixation by finding optimal combinations between them. To contribute to carbon neutrality, we are also attempting to determine the amount of carbon fixation per year achieved using a carbon fixation model of the food chain between algae and fish and shellfish. We first determine the amount of carbon fixation achieved with individual algae. Next, we determine the amount of carbon fixation achieved with the fish and shellfish that eat it. Ultimately, we are attempting to define the amount of carbon fixation through the food chain. By fixing more carbon in algae, fish, and shellfish, we will reduce the amount of CO2 dissolved in the ocean, thus contributing to carbon neutrality.